Hello, it's 9 p.m. It's August 27th, and let's get into this. Let's get into this weather update right now. Uh, we just had a line of uh, severe thunderstorms move across Long Island, and they were hitting Suffolk uh, for a while. There were a bunch of them training over Suffolk County, um, but uh, the, we finally got a solid line form and went right through Nassau County. We had some really torrential rains, gusty winds, and a lot of lightning, but not a lot of lightning bolts. But there was a lot of you know lightning in the sky, you know sheet lightning, whatever. Uh, but no, I didn't see a whole lot of bolts. Uh, but here's the storms. They're moving uh, now to the south. There's a little more light rain over there. Um, let's take a look and see what kind of damage. All right, we have 7,005 power outages. So it's not too many power outages. Let's see, mostly on the North Shore. Uh, and uh, looks like there is one in uh, Massapequa. Um, a couple of widely scattered power outages here. Some around uh, Northport and Green Lawn as well. Looks like there's one over here too, a small one uh, that's affecting 30 customers. Um, let's see, we got further out east. We have some outages also out in around Selden. One around Mastic Beach. Um, and it looks like wow, it looks like there's a pretty large outage affecting uh, the this area here in. Uh, this Dune Road area here in Ham in uh, around Quag, so uh, you have that, and then you have another route around Southampton, um, and some more around Southhold. Okay, so that's what's going on with that. Let's take a look at the Long Island Railroad. Let's see any problems. Ooh, weather-related signal trouble on the Babylon line, but also weather-related signal trouble on the main line as well. Uh, uh, looks like Mineola weather-related, signal trouble weather-related. It looks like it happened at Jamaica. Uh, yeah, it looked like there was signal trouble uh, at Jamaica. And uh, whatever reason, this train couldn't switch to the Atlantic branch tracks. Uh, and then there was an earlier unrelated problem to the weather that uh, was switch trouble in Queens Village. Uh, so uh, let's talk about Tropical Storm Laura. It's still a tropical storm, all right? So National Hurricane Center. Uh, well, you know what? No, we're not, not going to go to Laura just yet. Uh, let me uh, see if we have any storm reports from today. Uh, and we got to look at the rainfall totals, and then we'll get to Laura. There's such, so much stuff to talk about. Tornado Watch was in effect. Uh, they issued a whole bunch, a whole list of warnings here from the Weather Service. Uh, let's see if we can get any storm reports here. Okay, marine thunderstorm wind gust of 44 near Pond Quag. Uh, wind of 40 mile an hour at Breezy Point. Hail in center reach, 0.75, and it lasted for three minutes. Um, marine thunderstorm wind gust of 55 miles an hour at Point Lookout. And Newark Avenue, whoa, Newark Airport, 71 mile an hour wind gust at Newark Airport. Wow, that's bad. Large tree down in a house in Fairfield. Uh, and and Mayo Pack, numerous trees snapped and power lines down. That could have been a tornado right there. We don't know. We're going to have, have a much more comprehensive uh, look at the storm reports tomorrow, I think. Uh, but uh, significant issues. Uh, I guess we'll go ahead and we'll go to poweradage.us and we'll take a look and see how everything is being impacted here. Um in our area so it looks like New York has uh, New Jersey has 8,309 out New York has 46,000 out so uh, Sullivan looks like Orange County was hit very hard you have 10,000 people out so these are those severe thunderstorms that hit er, um, hit earlier uh, and Connecticut also is hit hard so Connecticut look at Connecticut here as well Connecticut. 51,000 people out, 50, almost 52,000 people out, and a lot of them are in New Haven County, 43,425 people out in New Haven County, so that area was hit very hard by the storms um, that uh, affected us. So, you know what I'm curious about? Let's see if this is affecting Metro North at all. Alright, some delays on the New Haven line. Alright.
bit. Some delays on the New Haven line, but it doesn't look like there's any sub service suspensions going on. Um, there is busing on the Waterbury branch. I think that's due to uh, <clears throat> due to uh, the um, a project of some sort. So let's talk about Tropical Storm Laurel. Let's look at the sad light. Still a tropical storm. You can still see the circulation. You know what? We're not going to sit here and wait for it. Let's go to the Hurricane Center here and get the latest on this thing. It's still a tropical storm, which is unbelievable. Uh, this far inland, it is you know, almost almost a day since it made landfall. Uh, its location is 34.2 north, 92.4 west, about 35 miles south of Little Rock, Arkansas. This is as of 7 p.m. They're moving north northeast at 15 miles an hour. Minimum central pressure, 992 millibars. There's still a circulation uh, going on with, uh, with this storm, which is crazy. So here you go. Clearly see that circulation right there. It's, it's looking more and more disorganized. It's finally starting to lose its tropical characteristics. But the fact that it took so long, you know, it just indicates just how strong this storm was, uh, which is pretty uh, incredible when you think about it. Uh, so uh, let's go and look at the power. We'll go back to the power outage uh, map four, and we'll go ahead and we'll look at uh, what's going on in uh, Louisiana. You have 539,165 customers without power. There's significant damage in uh, in these areas. Uh, these areas in dark red are pretty much almost all completely out. And look at that. It goes all the way up through the middle. Of the, look at that. Even way up into Union County, uh, almost a complete outage there as well. In, so this just indicates how strong the storm was so far north. Uh, uh, look at uh, Arkansas, because they have 50,242 people without power. You can see the counties down here are in the red here. Ashley County. Uh, I think as you way, make your way north, you're finally starting to see that the storm peters out, I think. I don't know where Little Rock is on this map. I think it's up north somewhere. Uh, but uh, hopefully Little Rock will get by without seeing too many power outages, hopefully. Uh, but you can see all the damage down here still. Significant uh, amounts of power outages. And Texas, too, as well. Go to Texas. 298,687, mostly in the eastern part of the county. So you see here, look at that, some of these counties, Orange County, uh, almost, yeah, these counties in the red are almost completely out, Orange County, Jefferson County, uh, Shelby County, um, and even Montgomery County, so a lot of damage in this area too as well from the winds. Uh, and if we go, let's go to, let's go look at Twitter and let's go to, yeah, let me go to Entergy, I'll just Google this up, Entergy. Twitter and so we can see some of the damage from uh, the storm here should have some pictures of it there's also a chemical leak uh, let's see if they have any pictures here of the storm damage uh, they do not have any pictures of the storm damage or here's there's some uh, there's a picture of that's just a picture of the crews they're bringing in but they're not really putting up any pictures of the storm damage at all um, uh, but uh, it's significant damage here. Uh, we can uh, just uh, look at uh, Laura, uh, Louisiana. I got to type here at the same time. So this is some of the damage in Lake Charles. I think I showed you some of this damage already. Um, this, this, there's a big fire at a chemical plant. That's something we were concerned about. Uh, look at this damage to the hotel. Oh boy, there you go. That's really bad right there. Uh, so just terrible damage all, all over the place. Uh, this is that fire again going on at that chemical plant. The whole cavalry there of uh, people coming into uh, first responders. Uh, look at that. So here you go. Look at that radio tower toppled there. So if it could topple a radio tower, you know it could probably topple transmission lines too. Uh, this is a video. This is Lake. This is uh, Louisiana. So, significant structures. This is going to be similar damage to Michael. Uh, terrible, terrible disaster there in Louisiana. But let's shift gears back to our uh, weather because we had a stormy night and we got to talk about some of the uh, wind. Let's see, if we can get some wind gust reports. Yeah, you see, you have some 31 mile an hour gusts here. Uh, I want to look at the rainfall. So, actually, let me go to. Max wind gust since midnight. Yeah, let's take a look at this. That's all we got. Uh, I thought there'd be more. All right. 
Now let's look at precipitation. Well, first look at our high temperatures. Yeah, I don't know what's going on. Why are we missing so much data here? Seems to be an issue with this site. All right, the site's not working. So let's just use one to ground. I don't have patience for it. I really don't. So let's just use one to ground. I know this site doesn't want to work either. What is going on? Nothing. Nothing's happening. Maybe my computer has frozen. Can't move the map. Yep. All right, well, I can't move the map. So we may just have to do it. Oh, there it goes, finally. Uh, all right, so we got about three-quarters of an inch of rain here in Nassau County. And if we go out to Suffolk, let's see how much they got. A little less, oddly enough, even though they had those storms going over there. A little bit to around a quarter of an inch, to around a half an inch. To some areas got a little more, actually. The east end, the river had 1.29. Hampton uh, Canoe Place. It says Canoe Place. It looks like Hampton Bays. So I'll just say Hampton Bays. Some reports are 1.32 inches of rain. So looks like the Twin Force got most of the rain. 1.03 at Greenport. Um, obviously, I'd like to use this site here. It's more of an official site, but it's not working. Uh, as you see, we can't get precipitation. We can't get, uh, let's try precipitation here. Where did precipitation go? I can't even find it now. Oh, there it is. Uh, all right. All right, so let's see. All right. So, uh, let me go to historical. We're going to move this up to 3 p.m. 2 p.m. I'll move it up to 2 p.m. So, uh, here you go. Those are the rainfall amounts. Uh, so, looks like Nassau County got 0 .63, about a three-quarters of an inch. Uh, Midwestern Suffolk got a little less, like around a half an inch. And then you get to Mid-Suffolk, like around Ronkonkoma, 0 .48. Islip got 0 .28. Um, these numbers quite originally 0 .33. Rocky, 0 .48. Um... Manorville, 0.55. It's when you get out to the east end, some of these numbers are higher. Uh, these aren't reporting quite as high as the others. Uh, there is a 1.28 at Orient, though. So these are the, I know these are the more official sites, so I prefer to use them uh, if possible. And now we have a... So these now there's severe thunderstorm warnings in effect for New Jersey now. So this is now going to be affecting New Jersey, this line, uh, as well. Now let's look at Connecticut here. Oh, yeah, look at some of these high amounts around Waterbury. 2.21, 1.71, 1.24, New Haven, 1.19. So this is where the really heavier storms hit. Uh, and this is where the really uh, significant wind gusts and damage was as well. And we're going to go over that damage tomorrow uh, when we get more reports in, I think. So let's go look at the models to see what's going to be happening for this weekend. Uh, I'm not going to go beyond the weekend because, honestly, um, it's just too much going on. Uh, too much to talk about. And it's really overwhelming. Uh, so, here is the low. That uh, that is Laura. We're gonna look at this on this. We're gonna look at this on the surface here, and you will see here that we'll get some of the remnants in here on Saturday. Uh, that's gonna kind of transfer to another low there, and then kind of move uh, east, and then out of here, and then we dry out on Sunday. We could get a decent amount of rain from that though. Uh, so let me get a closer look here. Uh, how much rain the GFS thinks we're going to get from this? Uh, of course, that does count today's rain, but maybe we'll get to see another inch of rain, maybe. Uh, so let's go to the temperatures here. So there's a lot to go through. I've already been going. How have we been going? Like 20 minutes already? I don't even know. I've lost track of time. Um, in between Laura and then the severe weather tonight, I mean. So... Uh, We've got uh, temperatures going tomorrow. Uh, this is tomorrow. All right, so tomorrow will be a little, a little bit cooler, mid 80s uh, for our area. So mid 80s, maybe still around 90 in New Jersey, uh, and then Saturday with all those clouds and rain showers around, probably not getting uh, much to maybe close to 80 degrees. And then Sunday, we're back into the mid 70s, uh, and then Sunday's really where you're going to feel the difference because it's going to still remain humid. Um, so here we go uh, into Friday. You'll still see that humidity up there. But you can see some drier air trying to bleed down a little bit. 
uh, until Long Island, uh, but still plenty of humidity to the south. But maybe we might see dew points drop. Maybe at least the GFS seems to think over Nassau and western Suffolk, dew points perhaps dropping to around 60, maybe even in the upper 50s. But then the humidity surges back with the remnants of Laura, uh, and it'll get a little breezy here on Saturday too, uh, as the energy from that kind of transfers to a, a, a regular extratropical low, uh, which centered seems to be centered somewhere around northern New York. Uh, and then um, after that, uh, we lower those dew points down, and Sunday looks really nice. Uh, so uh, it's a really nice day with the dew points dropping to the low 50s. Uh, so uh, let's go look at the skies, I guess. Oh, yeah, we'll go to the skies. So uh, here we go. Tomorrow will be a good amount of clouds around, I think. Obviously, Saturday, good amount of clouds. Sunday, we start trying to clear it out. All right, but there'll probably still be some clouds around. Uh, I want to look at the NAM model uh, and... Uh, Look at the NAM as far as the dew points go for it. Uh, actually, yeah, the 12 kilometer NAM. Uh, what did I click there? The tw I'm on the 12 kilometer, right? Okay, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry. I just there's so much stuff going on. My mind is on overload. Uh, so uh, looking at tomorrow, you will see here. Looks like we'll stay dry. Maybe some storminess off to the north and west over Pennsylvania. Uh, but then overnight, it looks like we start seeing those remnants, and it looks like it's developing a heavy cell over the southern tip of New Jersey. And then here we go with more of that rain tropical type rains hitting us Saturday afternoon perhaps uh, and maybe even some severe weather perhaps with that cold front perhaps there could be another chance for severe weather with that front there um, as we uh, get closer to Saturday we'll not have a better idea uh, I'm not even gonna guess right now but the Saturday would be our next chance for thunderstorm activity I'll just put it that way tomorrow looks pretty quiet let me look at the HRRR as well uh, this is the zero Z out. That's all we have is the out to here. So it only goes up that far. So I'll have to look at the 18 to Z. Uh, let's see. It is developing some showers and thunderstorms. Looks like it does affect our area. Or start gets closer to our area. So some chances of showers and thunderstorms. And then the more intense stuff looks like uh, overnight seems to be more to the south. So we're going to have to see, you know, where this is all going to line up. It's kind of too soon. But like I said, there could be the possibility that we could see it. Now let me look at those dew points and see if the HRRR brings in that lower dew point air for tomorrow too or tries to. It does. So you see here that lower dew point air trying to get over uh, parts of Long Island. So it might try to make it a little more comfortable. Uh, but I don't think... Let me see if the NAM has it on here. We'll go to the NAM 3 kilometer. NAM does not. So you have a bit of a disagreement there. This by the way is the cloud field. And the NAM also seems to have less clouds around. So why do I have a feeling the NAM will be hotter? Let me go ahead and look at the temperatures and see. Mm, no. But it's still going to be... So the models seem to think... One of the, because you have this stall front over the Earth. So whether the dry air bleeds in, and I, I think it might. I think it might bleed into uh, at least Nassau County and western Suffolk. We get a little relief from the humidity, but it'll still be kind of warm with temperatures in the mid to upper 80s. Uh, and it was a hot day today, too. Let me look at the high temperatures, too, today as well. I'm just using this site because it's easier. All right. And yes, I have a video of the thunderstorm. I'm waiting for this to load here. Just trying to get the high temperatures. Oh, it's right, NA. You know what? We'll just do this. So yeah, I tried to get it to work with the high temperatures. Let's see if it'll work again. All right, here we go. So uh, temperatures across the island were, drum roll, let's get it on the screen here, 91, 92, so middle of Nassau, pretty much everywhere was around 90, low 90s. South Shore in this area was a little cool, but mostly everywhere because of that west wind uh, was dealing with temperatures quite warm today across the island. And uh, when we look at New Jersey, I'm sure it's, it's no different. So uh, 93 at Tom's River at the airport there. Uh, so I guess that's going to wrap up this weather update. Again, a lot to talk about here. It feels like I'm leaving something out. Um, but uh, here you go. These storms are really so... These storms are now moving over New Jersey. So uh, this is going to be an issue for... Uh, looks like it's moving into Monmouth County, then Ocean County, uh, and down the line. they got lots of special marine warnings, and I'm assuming there'll be some more 
severe thunderstorm warnings as well. Uh, let's look at the lightning. Show you how much lightning they're producing again. Oh yeah, lots of lightning. So, there you go. Uh, 197, 175 strikes a minute, according to this thing. So yeah, there, there's a lot of lightning here. A lot of it offshore now. Uh, but still a lot of lightning. There was a strike around Bayville, so still some lightning in the area here. Mostly over the ocean, though. It's really going nuts over the ocean. Look at that. That's pretty crazy right there. That is pretty crazy. Um, I think that's going to wrap it up, I think. Yeah, we got to end it. So uh, <clears throat> that's going to be it for this weather update. Hopefully you didn't lose power um, tonight with the storms. But uh, our next again, our next really good chance of um, seeing some, perhaps, I guess I could go to the SPC and we can kind of wrap it up there. Storm Prediction Center is, uh, you know, and Laura's still over here. Uh, and it's still actually... Uh, a risk. It uh, looks like a tornado risk uh, from uh, the remnants of Lo well. It's still a tropical storm. You can see there's that. So let's go ahead and look at tomorrow and the next day. And uh, there's so much to talk about. So here's the day two convective outlook, which won't load. Let's get it in here. So we're just in a marginal risk for tomorrow, for mainly also to the south over New Jersey. But let's see if they've got a day three here. Let's see if they've got a day. No, they do not have a day. Oh, here it is. So it has shaded us very close to the slight risk, mostly in the New, New Jersey. Uh, we'll have to keep an eye on it uh, as the remnants of Laura come through and affect us on Saturday. Uh, but uh, what a disaster Laura turned out to be, as I expected. And uh, all the folks in Louisiana and even parts of Arkansas, extreme eastern Texas, they're going to need our prayers and uh, our, our help. Uh, sent their way to uh, deal with this horrible disaster uh, that uh, they've been uh, they've been dealt with, and uh, we're just seeing so many. You notice lately, it's like one disaster after another, and this is exactly the kind of stuff that people told us would happen. Uh, a lot of the climate scientists and uh, meteorologists out there, the people who have run the computer models and uh, have simulated all well, the climate change climate changes from greenhouse gases that we've admitted and uh, it's uh, this is exactly what we're dealing with and it's really it's only going to get worse and that's the really scary thing so uh, that's going to wrap up this weather update take care and thank you for watching